Hey. Hello. It's Missy and Dana. Episode four. Four. So exciting. Yeah, we're out of the hub today. Yes. We're in my kitchen today. Which we have renamed the panic room. Yeah, this is, the hub is the panic room. This is just rainbow bright room. We got Dustin back with us today. Yay! Yay. Okay, so today we're going to talk about just news topics, entertainment topics, if y'all have a topic for us, comment below because we really need like something to talk about. It's way harder than you think. It is. It's really hard to come up with stuff to talk about. So our first story is about a chubacabra. I don't know and what that awesome. is. So Dana's going to fill us in on that. Well, this past week they found a chubacabra, which is a mythical creature, which is really not mythical. I think they probably are real. Well, if they found one, it would be real, right? Yeah, but it turned out it was a raccoon the guy had shaved. <laughs> but, A for effort, Are first you of all. me? No, it wasn't a raccoon. <laughs> she done made me think they done found a chupacabra. No, it was a raccoon, but the chupacabras are very scary, and I think they probably, it's better than Big, it's way scarier than Bigfoot. It looks like if you've ever seen that movie Pitch Black with Vin Diesel, you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know those scary things that came out at night? That's exactly what they look like. Like they walk on their hands, and they have these wings, and they're very scary. Bigfoot's not that tough. A chupacabra. chupacabra. We got a picture of a chupacabra. See, it's very scary. Very mythical, supposedly. So there, and what it was a chupacabra? Is you said it does it's a goat with goats. sucker. A it goat sucks the blood out of goats and livestock. What does Bigfoot do? Nothing. He runs around. Yeah, in makes, the woods. Oh, and makes big prints. Oh. <laughs> oh, so scary. No, there's no Bigfoot. And then people are there. Do you really think there's any place left in the United States we have not tracked over? And that's like a Loch Ness monster. You think there's really a Loch Ness Yeah, but Ness she could monster? be hiding under the water. Yeah, that's true. Where's Bigfoot hiding? I mean, has he got a cabin in the woods somewhere and he just... Then how old is he? He would have to be pretty freaking old. Chubacabras. They're great, but they are not a shaved raccoon. No. Sorry. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> okay. Our next story is the man with the golden voice. Okay. This man stood on the street corner with his homemade sign talking about his golden voice. People would pay him to talk. Now they have took him, cut his hair, cleaned him up, and he has got like major money offers. Which is really awesome because, you know, he's been an alcoholic, on drugs, he's spent some time in jail, everybody deserves a second chance, you know. I think it's one of those, like, movies, lifetime movie stories. Yeah. We got a picture. There's the man with the golden voice. Okay. <laughs> I was the first time inspirational stories do not turn me on. I don't really care, but but his is pretty cool, you know, because he's great. he does have a great voice, which leads me to think that me and Dana need to start standing at the corner of Walmart with a homemade sign talking about God has give us the gab for talk, because I mean we should be able to have a show where we just talk. I mean, I know we've got this show, but you know what I'm saying. We like I mean, to be listen on to NBC, our voices. We've got CBS. great voices. We've Fox. Got, yeah, we've got great voices. Great voices. We've got golden voices too, and we wouldn't need so much of a makeover. So no, that would save you a lot of money right there. Okay, our next story is there was an eighth grade basketball player in Greensboro. He's got kicked off the team because he wouldn't cut his hair. Have you not seen Zac Efron in that movie where he's got that flippy hair and he plays basketball? It don't affect his dribbling ability. Mm, it's like ability. Hercules. Okay, evidently George Steinbrenner had this rule, you know, where they had to keep their hair cut a certain way or whatever. That's fine when you're making millions of dollars. But it's he's, still stupid. Yeah, but, but I mean, you know, you're you're getting compensated very well for having to do a certain thing. The NFL doesn't make them do it. You've seen the dudes out there looking like With Predator. With them dreads all down. <laughs> They're dreads. the Predator on the football team. Mm -hmm. field. The By the way, all go Seahawks. Out their Sorry. Yeah, go Seahawks. Go Falcons. <laughs> yeah, go Falcons. Suck but, um, Seahawks. 
Yeah, she <laughs> changed just like that. But anyway, and my thing is, we were looking at this story. Let's look at the coach. He's not attractive. He looks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Let's look at his hair. Uh, oh, dude. That he man. needs some work. He needs some help. I say leave that boy alone. Let him play basketball. Because it said he was even like a really good player. So, now his parents are suing the school system. It's going to cost a bunch of money. It's just a bit. I mean, it's retarded. It's just retarded. Do you think dress codes at school are stupid anyway? I think they are to a certain extent. I mean, like the low riders and the girls with their boobs hanging out. That needs to be took care of. But my thing is, if the parents... We have to buy the clothes. And if we buy the clothes and we think it's appropriate, you know... And yeah, I, I think I think kids should be able to be individuals, you know? Yeah, I don't like I don't like uniforms. I'm not a dress code. No. Love her. Okay. Miss New York. Oh, she's great. We like her. She is going to have the best social platform ever. Her it's going to be gays. Yeah. Her platform is gays and gay rights. Never been done before. She says she don't care what people think. I say... Go, Miss New York. I think we're ready because look at how crazy everybody went last year when that crazy lady was talking about, oh, I don't believe they should get married. I mean, who was that? Miss I, I, something another. Miss Whatever. Arrowhead. We don't know who she is now because she's... <laughs> Not important. Out of there. Yeah. So, I'm excited for Miss New York. I think yeah, I think be, we're ready. I think I'll especially just watch that part of the pageant. Yeah, because let's get for real. We're not watching the pageant. No. <laughs> but I may what? watch. What? I thought we decided no picture of Miss New York. She's yeah, Dustin, fine enough. She's beautiful. Next. <laughs> Dustin what added ever. that in on his own. We did not want Miss New York shown and taken away from our attention. Yeah. January 15th, Las Vegas. January 15th in Las 